previously on Work of Art. This week, you'll each be creating covers for these classic books. I have Pride and Prejudice. So I'm doing this partially nude photo shoot. I have basically started over. Who's got time for titles? I made a time machine that I would want to ride in. Designing a book cover just does not intrigue me. I think you wanted to show yourself and you backed out. John, you made a true work of art. That means that your book will be published by Penguin and sold nationwide. Judith, your work of art didn't work for us. It's time for you to go. At stake for the winner, a solo show at the world famous Brooklyn Museum and $100,000 Provided by Prismacolor Art Uninhibited. This is Work of Art, the next great artist. Challenge last week, and I'm really excited. I'm just deciding what I should wear. Come on, pal. <laughs> no, that's quite all right. Because I would love to have my artwork shown to a broader audience and really make a career out of my artwork. The fact that Judith went home is one of the reasons that I slept really well, just because she made me so nervous. And I'm so glad that I don't have to fake bathroom breaks anymore when she would come up and talk to me, and I'm just glad. I can't say that I'm happy Judith went home, but I'm just glad I didn't go home. If I can stay in this competition long enough, I think some area of the art world will accept me. Let's go, guys. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta get out of here. Up to. So where do you think we're going? To a fancy cafe for cappuccino. We're heading northeast. We're going somewhere new. We're going somewhere new. We are. Yeah. We pull up to Philippe's du Paris. And Simone looked like a proud parent in front of his gallery. Good morning, artists. Good morning. Good morning. It gives me such pleasure to welcome you to my place, Philippe's de Puri. This is where I conduct many exciting auctions. And this morning, I have arranged a very special exhibition. Wow. So please follow me. Oh my god. Philippe de Puri is a renowned auction house. You see advertisements for it all over the art world. I'm really excited to see what Simone is going to show us. We walk into this one room full of these gorgeous, huge, large format photographs, high contrast colors, these really graphic, really strong, really beautiful images. Yes. I'm really, really excited that we get to see work by Andre Serrano, who is an amazing photographer and has definitely set a benchmark for shocking and provocative photography. Wow, I really thought that was Photoshop. Wow, that's amazing. That's... Wow, how old are they? They look pretty old. Is one boy, was one boy or one girl, or no? No, they're both girls. I really respect Andre Serrano. I took a check to hear him give a talk when I was around 18 years old, and... It really changed the way that I felt about art and felt about myself and imagery. This one is menstrual blood. Yeah, it's his wife's menstrual blood. It's gorgeous. It is, but it's like the one that scares me the most somehow. Everybody's being drawn to different photos and examining them in different ways. It's like Jesus or something. I'm feeling pretty overwhelmed just by the spectacularness of being so close to these images. What does it mean to you? I'm really not sure. It seems... I mean, the glow is amazing. I'm not really sure how you do that. Just about the use of urine and all that stuff? Oh, that's what it is? Yeah, this is the piss Christ. Oh, shoot. The crucifix is in a thing of urine. Yeah, I didn't know if it was in some kind of, like, wax or amber or something. No. 
Yeah, it's urine. I'm just not sure if it's supposed to be provocative just to be provocative. You don't see it in any way since the guy that did it is so religious that it's a commentary on like what the world has done to For Christ's real? message. Like we make him look like crap because we don't act like him. Wow, man, that's actually really powerful. That's what makes it hard. Artist, can I have your attention? It is my great pleasure to introduce you to the man behind these extraordinary works, the great, great Andres Serrano. I'm extremely surprised to see Andreas Serrano. Even standing there looking at his work, it just didn't dawn on me that he might actually be there. And I'm excited because I feel like finally there's somebody like me that um, is probably going to understand where I'm coming from. Andres, can you tell the artists about your body of work? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to make pieces that make people feel something. Any reaction is better than indifference. Andres is known for art that shocks the viewer. For your challenge, we want you to create your own shocking piece of art. Ooh. Oh, God. Well, I'm very excited about this challenge. My normal work isn't shocking per se, but it will scare your average suburban housewife. I'm not really into making shocking artwork. Being gay, people are always noticing everything you do anyway, so I don't want any unnecessary attention by doing shocking things. Andres, any advice for artists? Well, you know, I, I would say that the most shocking work sometimes is not even meant to be shocking. I've worked with death, I've worked with menstrual blood, I've worked with the clan. In the last year I did a show called Sh This is what it all boils down to, really. Life, art, politics, it's all the same sh But in a way I was saying everything is relative. <laughs> and uh, people in general, they always think that their is the best <laughs> So I was just saying, if you want to see some real come check out my because I know I've got the best in town. Thumbs up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you will be given $100 to shop at Utrecht Art Supplies and until midnight tonight and one hour tomorrow to create your ultimate masterpieces. I can't wait to come later on today to your studio and I hope to see some good <laughs> to Utrecht to get some art supplies. So would I need wax at all if I just wanted like to expose string? And I know that that's how you would make candles. All right, I'll, I'll take some. I feel like I go into every one of my pieces wanting it to be shocking on, on some level. Maybe it won't have the most sexually explicit imagery, but shock can be anything. Would this be shocking? Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about this challenge, mainly because I have been referencing Andre Serrano's work in defense of my own work for a long time. I'm a Christian, and I have worked with the subject matter of hip hypocrisy in the evangelical right for a couple years now and so I already have an idea of what kind of work I really want to make. Five minutes! The last time I was shocked it was when a friend told me he practices auto fellatio, satisfying yourself sexually with your mouth. And it's sort of like a modern day narcissist. Thank you very much. I am nervous. Andre Serrano is a huge artist. Everybody knows his name. Everybody's seen his work. I'm really wishing I had immunity. The challenge is to create a piece of shock art. In relationship to art, there's not that much that shocks me. I am more known for my video art and performance work, so I'm gonna do some type of a performance, but I have no idea what I'm gonna make. I'm excited about my piece. Growing up in Baltimore, living in Philadelphia, I work with a lot of young black men. So many don't see any viable future except in a life of crime, except in a life of violence. So I'm working on these sculptures that are gonna be heads of black males, almost as bombs. I'm thinking about how within poor neighborhoods, family structures are destroyed, government doesn't care, and thus the kids are almost raised as these bombs that are just waiting to explode. Coming up on Work of Art. Buttholes, titties, and penises. Guy sucking himself off. I feel like people have definitely taken more of a sexual approach to shocking. You know, if we could do that, none of us would leave the house.
improvising. Hey, that's what it's all about, baby. The challenge is to create a shocking piece of art, and I'm ecstatic. I didn't really think there'd be an opportunity in this competition to really do what I would naturally do. I've decided to make a public service announcement about sex education. I'm gonna steal that book out of your bag. The Bible? Yeah, sure. Wow, that's old. The most taboo theme that I'm gonna deal with is children being molested by priests. Hey, Mark, you wanna grab this? It's not an anti-religion piece. I don't know anybody that's personally been sexually abused by a priest, but I read a statistic once that it said there were more Catholic priests living with AIDS than there were everyone else. Wait till you see what I'm doing. I'm gonna nail this one. I can't wait to see. I was really influenced by the critique I had with the last challenge. I'll give it back when I'm done. I don't really actually need to smoke it. <laughs> hey, if you want to smoke it, you can smoke it. One thing the judges said was I didn't push myself far enough, and if I'm going to do this kind of provocative work, I have to be completely vulnerable. Can I use the restroom? Wait. Okay. I'm taking these very low resolution photos, intentionally so, because I want it to seem like the girl in the pictures is not aware of composition or formal elements. She's just trying to get a sexual picture of herself taken. Jackie doing her photo shoot in the bathroom. I mean, it's entertaining as all hell, but a little warning would have been nice. Making a loud noise. The only topic that is extremely gut-wrenching to me is sexual abuse towards children. So I'm gonna make a series of three photos, otherwise called a triptych to present symbols of the things I fear the most that could possibly happen to people I care about. Yeah, this is as disturbing as it gets, in my opinion. Mm -hmm.